<laughs> All right. Um, last time you guys started on your trip to Italo Island. Um, this isn't the map I want yet. I want the world. Um, you found a rock that was floating for no reason. Then you found some dolphins. Then you weathered a storm. And, uh, then you got attacked by some sea medusas. And instead of snakes for hair, they have eels for hair. And that brings us up to speed. Now we can go to the ship page. Hooray! All right. All right. Let's see. I put everybody into the fight yet? No. I um, they're too close to the ship for the ship actions to really matter, so we're not going to worry about that. All right. Let's see. George, I'm not going to put, eh, maybe I will leave George in the unit for this. You guys can roll when you're ready. Um, I figured how to do it. Oh, never mind. Are they on the side of the, uh, in the water on the side of the ship? Is that the deal? 
Um, because of your rolls last time, they are not on the ship yet, but you've noticed them. Hey, Joseph. What? We talked briefly about my new armor. Talking about getting the ooze out. Are we saying that I can wear that now, or no? I don't remember what you're supposed to do for it. What did you need to do? So I needed the salt and the oil to draw the ooze out. I thought you told me it took a certain amount of time to do, but I don't remember what that was. Doesn't say on the armor? Um, I think so, but let me check. No, you're good. Um, you can wear it. Okay. So I'm gonna go into your item and I'm gonna change the description just to take that text out. Delete the two items. Okay. And you can put that on and you better figure out your attunement stuff too. Okay. Ingredients are gone. I'm normally wearing what am I normally smoke. wearing? Well we can go to Yarrow's turn while you figure this out. Okay. Alright, Yarrow. Alright. Uh, I know that they're on both sides of the ship. I know about both groups. Did you? How would we do for perception? Question. Uh, perception. Yep, you got a 16. You're good. Oh yeah, I killed it. Um. All right. So those ones are a little further away. Let's zoom out a little. Uh, can you unpause? Oh. Need to. Yeah. Sorry. I thought I could measure with it, possibly. It doesn't even allow that. Alright. I'm gonna go... Move me. Let's move it. No, oh, I'm on the strong thing this way. I move here, uh -huh. and then I, I'm not gonna look at them. I'm gonna look at the water in between them, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. throw a fireball. Level three. Right. Throws a fireball into the ocean. Well, above it, so it like explodes. Well, yeah, they are half in the water. Um, I'll tell you what that means in a minute here. Failure. Failure. So the bored <laughs> Sea Medusa and the angry Sea Medusa both fail, but they are going to be resistant because they are in the water and it's fire damage. Mm -hmm. so they're only going to take half damage from that. Not bad still. Yeah. I just don't see how you could be swimming in the water and get hit by a fireball and take full damage. Yeah, no, that makes sense. All right, uh, and now I'm gonna move back up here. I'll move right there, and then uh, I'll. Use some bardic inspiration. Find that right tab. Here we go. Come on. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell uh, you guys the art for these guys, and I'll show show that to you again. Um, I had AI draw this. Hmm. Mm. Well. Cool. Be good. 
the I like, was like weird I told, fingers. I told it to draw like a um a Medusa, but the hair is eels instead of snakes, and it has a mermaid tail. And this is what it spit out. Pretty good. Oh. Yeah. I thought you drew it. Yeah. Uh, I'll give some bardic inspiration to Daphne. I'll say, hit those Daphne just like your, I'm sorry, hit those uh, mermaid things just like you hit your family. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's so charismatic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that screech means it's Baruch's turn. Ah. <laughs> Let's uh, let's do some spells. Okay. Detect wounds level uh -huh. three on this guy. Which one? The one closest to me to myself. All right. Are you looking at her? No. You're not looking at her. Mm, I'll take a peek. Okay. Great. Uh, Thirteen. <laughs> Okay, uh, great. Well, you missed anyway. Uh, I need a constitution saving throw, please. I have a new ability that lets me use sorcery points to re-roll that. Sure. I'll do that. Um, which button do I put advantage? That one. Minus three. What did you do? Why don't you tell us what you did? I did. Um, seeking spell. Seeking spell. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Did you use the meta magic points? Sorcery point. Minus three. Yeah. Three. It costs three. No, it costs well, two. Well, I, I used a distance spell. Oh, you did. All right. Well, 24 is pretty good. 24 damage. I still need a constitution saving throw from you. You, you got it. Take a peek at this sea Medusa. And all the eels go. Oops, that's a, not a saving throw. What's your say? Uh... Plus six. Supposed to be plus six instead of plus one? Yeah. Okay, so you got an 11. Let me take a look here. Why is the saving throw so much higher than the Constitution? Huh? Uh, never mind. I'm proficient. Anyway, you start to feel your body turning into coral. Sweet. Um, you have to repeat this save at the end of your next turn. And if you fail that save, your body turns into petrified coral. Which is mm. bad. Which Can I move still? For now, yeah. Ah, my legs. <laughs> yeah, instead of turning to stone, you turn to coral because they're sea medusa. Mm. Sea medusas. I invented these creatures. You all need to think it's cool right now. <laughs> cool. Oh, cool. Yay, they all think it's cool. Okay. Um, this one's going to rush over and climb onto the deck. At that point, she would only have five feet of movement left. I'm not going to bother because Daphne is right there. Uh... Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, first question. it's going to... What? Uh, question, does basilisk oil work on sea medusa petrification? It would be the petrified condition, so if that's what it says it cures, then yes, it would work. Okay. Okay, Dad. Specifically says it turned to stone with rather than petrified, I guess it's the same thing. Then I guess you don't know if it would work. Oh, that hits you! Yeah. 
Okay. Um, alright. So, you took the damage. And you are grappled. So her eels have grabbed you. Um, that also means you're restrained. Okay. Um, now the eel hair is going to try to bite you. Mm -hmm. So I can't use a, a counterattack, right? A reaction? Depends on what your reaction is. Uh, just... To swipe at the person who misses me? She didn't miss you, she hit you. This you just rolled. Something else just hit me. The eel hair. Yes, but you started asking the question before I rolled that attack. How could you have meant something that happened hadn't happened yet? I was asking because I'm grappled. So if if the next roll missed, can I react to it? Yeah. So I'm I think that was a good question, Teresa. I guess I'm confused about grappling. You, you can't move, but you can repost. On your character sheet, if you go to um, effects, you can go down to grappled and highlight it, and it tells you what, what grappled means. Okay, so I can, I can hit her then. I can use that attack and hit her. Yeah, yes. You just, you just can't leave that space. I see. Uh, 16 is a hit. Nice. Um, are you looking at her? No. Okay. You I just... Disadvantage. That's stupid. You're not looking at her. What do you mean that's stupid? Okay, but I'm grappled from where she is, so I can sense that she's in that direction. Okay, the whole point of a Medusa is that if you want to attack them, you can't look at them, so you have disadvantage. And if you do look at them, you risk turning to stone. That's like I understand that. Okay, you just said it was stupid. No, I said it was stupid that I would be grappled by something coming directly from her body, but wouldn't know where, she, where it was coming from. You know where it's coming from. Okay. You're trying to hit something you're not looking at. Okay. Last attack. Uh, that's a natural 20, but it's only 16. Um, does Oliver, who is from a place... It doesn't get out very much. No, what a sea means. No. So he's going to look right at this bitch. Um, and he can do two attacks. So this is going to be his musket toy. That's a miss. That's a hit. Eight damage. He's gonna make a constitution. He succeeds. Um, next Medusa. Right. So she climbs all the way up. She's only going to have 15 feet left after climbing. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go for Wally because he's right there. Okay, he's grabbed by her. Jesus Christ. Wow! Rolled really well on that bit. Okay, yeah. Can Farrakhan be turned to stone? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Um, he would know what they are, but he doesn't care. 
and give it a good. Um. Oh, I forgot he can teleport. Sweet. In that case, since I forgot he could teleport, he is going to teleport over here and then attack this one. Got two attacks. have so many turns in a row. Mm, that's a hit, but I think he's immune to poison, so he's only going to take six damage from that. George is going to run below deck. Teleporter didn't work. Right, George. Waiting for Teresa. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking down. You don't have to make the uh, save because you already did it this turn. Uh, did I? Oh, wait. No, because you didn't look. Uh, so I guess you have disadvantage. Or you can look. I'm not looking. Okay. Well, let's fill it in. Nice. How do I roll with disadvantage? Is it alt or? I think it's control. I think it's control. Nice. Oh, you're doing lots of damage. Yeah. Die, Medusa, die. Hold on. Oh, you rolled back damage. She failed, so now she is also <laughs> restrained. We're just locked together. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> um, okay. You just kicked her ass. Jesus. <laughs> you did... 44 damage. Yeah, wow. I did. Right. Good job. Wally is uh, grappled. 
Um, I'll have him make a check. Yeah, he knows all about this shit. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that doesn't work. Never mind. Can't do that. Um. Jeez. Well, he has a potion of healing and he got really fucked up, so I'll use that. And then he can make one attack. Now, since um, Paragon is, is flanking, he doesn't have disadvantage. And he hits. Because the advantage and the disadvantage would, would cancel out. That's his whole turn, while he's not much of a fighter. Wanna shoot right. the ballista. <laughs> Holy shit, that's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> um, Because the one in the water is so close to the ship, that angle wouldn't work. Um, and if you shoot at this one, you're going to have disadvantage because of Farragon. But okay. the other two are wide open. Alright, I will shoot the one that's uh, got Daphne in a headlock. Alright. Get rotate, her. You rotate the ballista over and aim and you shout, Get down, Oliver! And he doesn't move at all because he's deaf. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, you hear um, that, Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got to figure out how. Oliver, why aren't you listening? Roll a d20 listened. to start while I look up the ship. I, you've surprised oh. me. You can have inspiration for this bullshit. Yay! Fuck. Ah. Uh, What'd you roll? Two. two. Well, let's see what kind of bonuses we get here. So... The Ballista... Okay, um... Do you have siege weapon proficiency? No. Somebody does, don't they? Mm. Didn't somebody get good at siege weapons? Oh, yeah, me. Okay. The list, the list specifically. Yeah, I, anybody who has Marshall would have it too, so I think Travis and Teresa both do. Uh -huh. um, okay, so the, we would add your dexterity, so that's a six. Okay. So that's an eight. And then the ship itself, because of the crew bonus, let's see here. What's, your, what's the ship's targeting bonus? Ship's targeting. Targeting. Plus two. So 2 plus 6 plus 2 is a 10. Um, so you do miss. Okay. But for the future, remember, anybody not proficient... Well, we can't do that because it's her dexterity. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. You're not going to use your bonus action for anything? Um, I, yes, I will use Steady Aim to get ready for my next attack. Okay. Um. How, how close do you have to be? Hold on, I gotta see if you gotta make that check. Oh, no, you just, okay, hold on.
Yeah, you're far enough away that you don't have to make the check. Okay. There's a distance that matters. So no, you're good. Wait. All right, Travis, take your turn. Oh my god. All right, all right. So started with the bonus action to flame on my hammer, uh, and then Nellius would see Daphne and have faith in her, but then see Faragon and Wally in trouble. So he's gonna go over there to help, and to get advantage, he's gonna wrap all the way around this guy. So now it's straight up, and I'm gonna use my hammer. And I will use uh, Divine Smite on that. Jesus. Are you cheating over here? <laughs> yep. And then I will hammer again. What are you... What are you rolling? Are you rolling D40s? Right? What is yeah. this shit? 29? Yeah, I, roll, I roll two D40s. <laughs> and you only got a 19? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. So actually, it's really bad. W so D40s. you should feel bad for me. Uh, okay, so that is Nellius' turn. So Silas is going to move up. And get regular straight up attack. On the one and in between Nelios. formation. Yep. And. Um. Yeah, I can't use the lightning breath here. Is that two misses? Yeah, it is. All right, that will do it for me. They're scary looking. Okay, the last one climbs on board and goes for Yaro. No. Miss. Uh, miss. Miss. I remember it in the last one, man. Right? Shut up. Or did you take that thing I'd... off? What's what's uh that? Yeah, let me look. Just Hold on. Book of displacement. I think I took it off. All right. No, I still have it on. I oh, never. Okay. All right. I, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you wearing it then? Yes. Yes. Okay. I actually got to take it off. I never put it in my. Belt of inspiration, I gotta do that. Or we can say I did, either way. Don't ask me, man. Nah, I'll leave it as it is. I'm gonna take George out of the initiative since he ran below deck. I can do shit to get killed by Neil. Although, a ship bush turned into a coral ship bush. Hmm. Dead though, right? Yeah, he'd be dead. Okay. I'm gonna pull out my Say dick. deal mirror and then specifically says keeping an eye on Medusa's. This isn't a Medusa, but still. Uh, no, this this absolutely works. Using a mirror means you can attack regular. We, I'm going to go, though, for that is, the one that I... Is, that is also a mechanic built specifically into uh, Medusa's. Okay. I'm going to go for the one over by Daphne with my loot. It's still alive. I'll take that one again. Ooh, wait, wait, wait! You're attacking the one in front of you. Is that what you said? No, this one, over, this one over here. So I probably have a disadvantage, don't I? Yeah. So you do still have yeah. disadvantage now. Yeah. Uh, Natural one. Like I said. 
And the second one was a 12. I missed best. anyway. Yeah. yeah. So you missed both yeah. of them. I missed both. Okay. Um. Meanwhile, I'm attacking poor fucking Wally with a Medusa and rolling a million, and Travis is attacking. Rolls a 39. This game is stupid. Then I'll do some Bardic Inspiration on Baruch, since he appears to be turning to Coral. Say, Baruch, don't turn to Coral. That's it. And I stay where I am. Okay. Uh, in my turn. So, Baruch, at the end of your turn, you would make that save again. But until then, you can take your turn. And if I fail it, I turn to Coral. Yes. Alright. I'm going to risk it. A little up here into the battle. Uh -huh. Um, my, I have a thing that makes people better. Let's see. I'm going to screech like a little bird. Let's see, as a bonus action, where are you? It's my hat. Alright, so... Rook screeches like a little bird. Little bird beanie? Wow. Three creatures I can see. Uh, let's do... Who doesn't have advantage? <laughs> um... We'll do Serene, Nelios, and Daphne. What do you guys think of that item? Just Wait. looking at it. That's cool. Yeah. So you three have a day. advantage. On your next turn. That doesn't. You don't get double advantage, right? No. Advantage so it still just cancels out for me? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. cancel out. Unless you, uh... Move somewhere. Unless you just... No, well, you can... These guys will be dead. Look her, look her in the eels. Right, yeah, I'm not gonna look at her eels. Oh, come on. I, uh... <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> What's your constitution a... saving? Well, uh... Plus four, you're fine. But I would still get advantage because I... I'm flanking, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can just look at her then for no reason. It's kind of pretty. Alright, I'm a twin uh, attack. He also has a still mirror. This is bullshit. Who the doesn't north, have a mirror? I mean. The north person will do this. With advantage, right? Yes. And the south person will do the same. That's level two. Okay. And then I'll do a constitution save and throw. Constitution. Pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, yeah. You are no longer under the effect. Hooray. Alright. So she did get another turn. Alright. Uh... Oh, I can't use the Constrict because I already used it. Huh. I can only use two attacks on you. Ooh! That's, a uh, uh, Daphne. Rude. Sure is. And then a miss. Wait. No repost? Yeah, I'll repost. Fuck it. I don't know how many Yeah, have. do it. I thought it was a repost day. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Chris, look it up. Wait, where is Are it? Are you averting your eyes or no? Yeah. Your constitution saves. It's re repost. Your constitution repost. saves are plus repost. 10, Teresa. What? Your constitution save is a plus 10. Are you complaining or are you saying that you... I didn't notice something? 
this this the constitution saving throw against turning to stone is dc 14 and you'd have to fail twice no. and you have a plus 10. interesting does this fail okay. it does because you have already your okay it. well i have bardic inspiration so i would like to do that okay uh what do i do for that again what is it a d what and no it really doesn't matter because you missed by a one so ah. by using it we're gonna roll anyway i want to see what it is Okay, we're just about to do that. Take that Three. damage, bitch. Nineteen, Ryan. Learn math. Is she dead yet? Well, we could have added it, but uh, and she did take her turn. Oh, she takes your fire room damage though again. Oh yeah. I roll for that? You roll your fire rune again and don't consume the usage. Uh, I think she makes the save again, doesn't she? Yeah, the target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. Oliver starts to turn to stone. No, Oliver! I'm putting it on there so I don't forget about it. And he missed twice. Um, what's this one gonna do? It's got Wally grappled, so it would pretty much have to keep attacking him. So, deal hair, miss. Miss. Here. Oh, he doesn't get an advantage. No, he's looking at her. He does. Yeah. Now it's a 21 for 10 damage. He's attacking the aroused one. <laughs> They're going also to. Okay, this one is going to stop attacking Fairground and is going to attack Nelios. Alright. Miss. 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 Daphne. I can use a reaction, can't I? <sighs> she gets advantage. Why? Because I made a bird call. Okay, so advantage plus disadvantage means you get the 24. Okay. So that's 16 damage. She's dead. Yay, so I'm ungrappled and stuff? Yeah. Eat! So it's just a regular, uh, just regular ass, right? Yeah.
That's a smart thing to do. Wally is going to cast Bless. Uh, range is only 30 feet. I'm going to cast that at level 2. Um, so let's see. Farragon will be 1. He gets to pick 4 people. Silas is going to be a second one. Two. Um, he'll give it to himself. That's three. And I think Nelios. Sorry, I was doing it. Okay. <laughs> um, and that is his turn. Without looking directly at the Medusa, I'm going to shoot it with my bow. Okay. Um, so I added an ammo thing now. So you should have... Do you have that equipped? What bow is that? Bengari bow? Yeah, do you see down at the bottom of your screen a little picture? Maybe? Um. Like the bow? Like in the the sheet or no? Like my character sheet? No. Oh, hold on. Okay, now I got my thing in the way. I'm not seeing it now. Um. I got work in last night. Oh well, I won't worry about it right now. Uh, so yeah, so you have disadvantage. Well, I had advantage. So it's just... Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you can sneak attack then. Sweet. Okay.
be there. Okay. All right, let's bash in this one next to me. Three damage, still alive. Still alive, okay. Eight damage. Oh yeah, that killed her. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna use any bonus stuff. So let's do Silas. Is there a point of doing the strength saving throw for the bite, or...? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Alright, I'll do it. Um, could you guys do me a favor? I just want to test something on this. Um... Go to the gears on the top right. And then go to configure settings. Okay. Is on the left, is there a thing for Forian's ammo swapper? Yes. Is that enabled on yours? What do you mean? Everything okay. except reset position. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why it's not working. I had it working yesterday. Ow. Oh! Here, a fat cat. Oh, that's Leo. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. can hear you screaming. Well, it's working for Travis. Does everybody else have all their things checked off? Do you see yours, no. Travis? Okay. What yeah, am I looking at? Down in the bottom by your hot bar, if you have your character sheet open. Well, maybe you no, may need I don't your character sheet open. open. But it should it should pop up and show. Um, your, ranged, crossbow? Your, your ranged weapon, yeah, with the ammo that you have selected, and you can click that to switch yeah. the ammo to other yeah, I ammo see that. that you have. Mm. Yeah, I've got that. Look. Oh, it worked when I turned on Smashy's long, though. Show me. Oh, oh yeah, I don't have a... It works for your longbow, Smash, if you unequip it and equip it. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Your short bow was listed as melee for some reason. Which is the problem with the Fingari bow, too. You beat yeah. the shit out of people with it. There. Now... Okay, yeah. yeah, so so whatever whatever ranged weapons you have equipped and you have your character sheet open or whatever, it should show up at the bottom okay. with the weapon and what ammunition you have equipped. And if you switch it to something else, when you make an attack, not only will it use the correct ammo, but if it has, like, a different damage type or a plus one or whatever, it'll apply it to the roll. Chris, do you see that? <sighs> and look... You didn't look? I did not look. During the bottom middle of your screen, do you see a weapon, ranged weapon? With an ammo type? Uh, Next to your hotbar? Uh, he doesn't have any of his ranged weapons equipped. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I had to change my light crossbow to be ranged rather than melee, and now it shows up. So Chris has that like magic pistol or something, doesn't he? Yeah, no, I see stuff. That doesn't that act doesn't actually use bullets though. <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought it did for some reason. Yeah, it's probably like Oliver's. Self esteem. Ah, uh, he doesn't have any ammo. Right. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Alright, Team Medusa is going to try to constrict Yarrow. Uh, that's a miss. 
miss, miss. I always roll really high at the beginning of fights, and then I suck after that. Um. Boy. Badly entered. I'll go. Okay, keep my mirror out, and I'll try my mithril rapier here instead of the hand flute. Uh, be advantage actually since Daphne's flanking. You say you averted your eyes though? I'm using my mirror, yeah. Oh, you're There's using your one. mirror. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Which one do you want? You want the natural one? Uh, maybe. I thought about yeah, it for I think a second. That. Yeah. That's the attack. I don't have anything else. Attacking. How far is Oliver from me? Oops, wrong thing. What do you what do you hold to look at all of that? How people are far from you? Huh? You mean like the ruler? It's alt. Alt. Yeah, click your guy. So, I'm just gonna measure it. He's 50 feet. Let's do... Bardic Inspiration on uh, Oliver, since I think he's still turning to stone. Okay. And that's it. Baruch. Alright, I was looking for something cool I could do to kill this guy. Well, uh, I think the cool like, thing I can do is inflict lots of wounds on him. Let's do... Where is he? Injured. Level 3! Take that! With the mirror. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. You're still alive. That's the best I can do. That's pretty good. Bonus action. That was not the best I could do. And it's uh, really good. Really good for the not best you could do. I don't think there are any attacks that do bonus actions. And turn. Alright. Well, he's already turning to stone, so... Damn it. Oh, come on! Uh-oh. Uh, Bardic Inspiration's a D10? Yep. Oh, he succeeds! Wow. Hmm. Who has the Party Inspiration? Yeah, I was gonna see if I could use it on him. I have it. You got it? do something when someone near me gets hit by something, right? Oh. <laughs> if I can forget what it is. Sentinel, maybe? Does that do that? Sentinel. Again. My creature within five feet makes an attack against a target other than you. So I can attack him using a reaction. Okay.
Um, he has bless. Okay, he got a six. Uh, uh let's have him re-roll with my party inspiration. Okay. Yeah, you got mm -hmm. an eight. Oh, I got it. Um... Yeah, he has a plus three constitution saving throw because of your aura. He's normally got a plus zero. He's got a plus three because he's near Travis. Plus one because of Bless. And he got to re-roll and he's still got a seven. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, Bless is gone. Not used to this fighting. Alright, he's gotta make his petrified check now. <laughs> oh well. The second check? Yeah. We don't have the party um, oh, you know what? Hold on. He has advantage against magical effects. Success. Uh, thanks. I did forget about that. How come? Uh... Hey, why, did, why does he have that effect on him still? Oh, okay. Sorry. Still alive. Oh! Did you get him? Yeah, how did you kill her? Hmm, chopped her head off. Nice, cook, classic. Cook, cook the eels with your sword. <laughs> oh, wait, that was two, right? Yeah. going to cure wounds himself. That is his fault. It's the last one. Get him, Smashy. Pulls out her bazooka. Um, and I have a mirror as well, so I'll use that. There's a fucking mirror. Oh, you had the mirrors because of the false hydra. Right. And 
I will... Stab her. Oh, that gets her. Woo! Dead and dead. Hey. Well done. Good job, everybody. And only... Well, no, Paragon wasn't turned to snow. Nobody was turned to snow. Okay. We loot the bodies. Yeah. Where were we? We were on the uh, Ryan, you ask, um roll twenty D ten for me, please. Ten, huh, please. Mm -hmm. You find 131 gold pieces. Neat. Didn't have any other stuff. The party token or something somewhere with money in it, don't we? You want me to put it there? Yeah. Probably makes more sense to split it up when you have a bigger pile. Okay, I added it in. Thank you. Okay, is there anything else anybody wants to do before we move on further into the adventure? Nope. Yeah. I wanna... Yeah, let's look at my inventory while we're doing that. Um... Where the hell did that thing go? If my trinket of warding I want to use so that then I have the whatever that spell's called effect. Death ward. I think us Death Ward thank you. And I think some other people have that too. Have bought one at some point. I can't remember who though. Okay, tell the class what it does. Uh I should post it. There you go. Essentially, if you use it instead of dying, you'll drop to one hit point. Ooh. Pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Okay, you've got to remember that that's active, but the next time you would drop to zero, you instead drop to one. Okay. And it's specific, specifically as the result of taking damage. So there are things that can kill you that don't damage you, like drowning. Hmm. Or being turned to stone. Right? You're not taking damage, it's something else. So there are things, not many, that aren't technically taking damage. Mm hmm like, I can't remember how the the Disintegrate spell is worded, but that might be, like, another exception. Okay. Then everybody can long rest. Okay. Okay. Oh. You're a lot of noises. That's just Teresa here. whining. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I never whine. A day in my life. No? Wait, did you say nope. you never whine or you never win? Mm, wine. Wine. You drink wine all the time. You never drink wine? Just win past tense. Oh, wait, did you, you say wine? swine? No, no, no. <laughs> she said whined. She never oh. whines. <laughs> Winds it up. You lay, you lay, you low. <laughs> oh. Does anyone really want a uh, black iris crystal? Uh, it's an octagonal 
Blot. Is that what I meant to do? I'm pretty sure I already have a black one. I have a black one on my hammer. If anybody's got magic items you'd like to feed my yeah, armor, that could one. be cool. <laughs> the more I feed it, the stronger it gets. Any magic items? Yep. I'll we'll post it so you can read it if you like. I mean, like, potion scrolls, I don't think, work. Right. It has to be, like, magic attunement. No, not even attunement. Equipment? Yeah, and items you have might not be classified right. Because I've improved the game as we've played, so if there's an item you want me to look at, like it might be listed as common, and I'm like, no, that's very rare, or something, you know? I have these, sh these shoes. No, those are shitty. How about this one? Uh, what's... Then I can look at the shell. The shoe. Oh, calculator. Yeah, those are uncommon. Those are not rare. And then you've got a Wand of the War Mage. What's on Wand of the War Mage? Um, plus one Wand of the War, War Mage is technically uncommon, but it's good enough that I'd say that counts as rare. All right, you can eat that. Well, oh, do it. You want these crappy shoes, though? <laughs> <laughs> but really, take the shoes. <laughs> yeah, sure. So that gives me one point, though, yeah? Yeah. Which doesn't actually upgrade me. So I need two oh. points to get to level two. But right in there, like, edit the description. Here, hold on, I'll do it, and then you can update it later. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I don't actually have anything that I can feed it right now besides if I take off my cloak of protection. But then my AC drops three points, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. Can you eat my cloak? That makes you look good. Boy, oh, it makes me look cloak. good. Drop your AC three points. Um, well, if I got rid of the Cloak of Protection, it drops my AC by one. And then if I use the armor, it drops my AC by another two because it's an AC of 15 instead of the Heavy oh, Splint, right. which is an AC of 17. So right. my total you would only, AC. You would only use it if you wanted to use the, the advantages of uh, Strategist's form. Right. Uh, which, at the beginning level, it just grants you Indomitable. Right. I'm not sure that's worth 3 AC to do that right now. How about this vest? That's a clothes. I don't think that's magic, is it? Or a feather fall, maybe it is. Yeah, is that a magic item, Joe? What? The feather fall vest. It is, but it's also probably crappy. Let's see. Yeah, it's uncommon. You need rare or better. Does anyone want this cloak of displacement? I'm gonna switch attunement to my belt. Pretty good item. But you can't be wearing. I don't know, I'm thinking of something else. I thought you couldn't wear medium or heavy armor, but it must that be a one different. That one is rare, Travis. 
If nobody wants it, I'll feed it. I might hold on to it if she, if she <laughs> wants it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Risa, Smashy, not interested? I don't think so. Okay. okay. What do you think? Let me hold on to it for a little bit. Hold on to it. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll miss it more than I think. Yeah, try to test it out without it, and maybe you want to go back. One of those things that's annoyingly good. Right. Yeah. Hard you have to, to remember. Right. Like every time you can say, hey, it's a disadvantage. Right. But wearing the belt now, I have two more uses of Bardic Inspiration. And I can also use it. When I make an ability check to add the result of a bardic inspiration to my own role. That was that auction item you guys got. Yeah. Okay, I switched it out for now. Okay, did everybody long rest? Yep. Anything else? Yep. I don't think so. All right. The next day, you spot four Plesiosaurus eating a dead whale. They notice you, and one of them bellows, seeming to say, leave us alone. Uh, dinosaurs aren't common in Delvum, <clears throat> but they exist. Plesiosaurus are a problem. Nothing really hunts them naturally, but they tend to eat a lot. And so where their population goes unchecked, the whole food chain gets thrown off. As such, both Festus and Gardenia offer a reward of 250 gold pieces per Plesiosaurus head. However, if you just want to ignore them, you can just keep your distance. How much you say? 250 per head. Plesiosaurus are like Nessie, Loch Ness monster. Mm. Uh, do we have any idea how tough they are, or else I want to ask Paragon if he, how tough he thinks they are? Is there somebody who wants to roll, or are we asking Paragon? Um, Think I would have any oh. knowledge of them. Ooh, neat. What is I'll it, roll history? for it. I don't think I know, but um, this would be nature. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Oh, he kills it. She's right. Yeah, one of them dies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Plesiosaurus are, um, pretty fast as far as sea creatures go, but they are a challenge rating of two. Okay. Not terribly strong. Capture one on the Pokeball. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, hmm. if only he hadn't just caught. Yeah, just you to catch give you guys a reference, the sea Medusa you just fall, each each of those was a challenge rating of six. Right. What did you catch, Ryan? Um I've got the uh owl bear in there. That's right. Owl bear. Yeah, he a towel bear. A towel bear. Challenge yeah. rating is on here. <laughs> it's in the Taliban. <laughs> I think he's higher than that, though. Monster ball. 
equal to uh, less than one third of your character level rounded down. My maximum I could catch. You have to keep him in there at all times, or I mean, like, when do you plan to use him? Is it just when? Oh, I can pull him out. Um, I I don't want to consume him. I just want to use it. That post it. Yeah, I had bonus action to get him out of there. Okay. You have a character sheet for him and everything. Yeah. Nice. I thought about using the last fight, but I just didn't think it was worth it. Yeah. Probably better to keep them in there for now while we're on the ship. Just like Silas, if he dies, he dies. Yeah. Well, this says uh, if the creature drops to zero HP, it immediately returns. Oh, into the ball regardless of distance oh. and gates the benefits of a long rest. Alright, never mind. If he dies, he goes back into the Pokeball. Yeah, it's immortal. It's wow. immortal, though. Yeah, man, you could have used that on Silas and protected his life forever. Do you feel bad now, realizing that? No. Okay. Hey. I kill Yaro. Steals <laughs> ball. Him. Steals ball. I throw his owlbear <laughs> into the ocean. <laughs> You're not a tune. Neither am I. I guess it doesn't have to be tuned. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but no. But Yaro says that. Yeah, but you're not a tune. Yeah, tune. you're not a tuned. Yeah, like it. I do have to be tuned to it. <laughs> and I had to give up uh, twenty years of my life. I cut Yaro's head off with my hammer. I know. Wow. Wow. Hard to do, but. Did it? And then he's cooped up in the ball all the time. He wouldn't want that. Okay, That's true. so well. Melios beats Yarrow up, takes the ball, and then puts Yarrow in the ball. Yeah. Yeah. And then throws the ball into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Those dinosaurs eat it. Right, and the dinosaur eats it. it. All right, so what do we got going on with the plus hold on, hold on, hold on. But then later he washes up on on the shore like in Jumanji, and like drums start to play. Yeah, it's two million years later. Right. Somebody lets him out like the genie. Ten thousand yeah. years. They go to the library and research this time period to see what happened. <laughs> yeah. Wait. We're gods okay, now. On. New new campaign. New campaign. <laughs> all right. It's all about Yarrow in the future. <laughs> right. A, a person on a on a hoverboard goes by. <laughs> I, I say, I can't believe they they killed Nelios and tortured him so terribly. <laughs> <laughs> they cut off all three of his dicks. Damn. Okay, you guys. He's gonna known as the evilest person in history. Do we want to fight them? What's the point of fighting them? Do we have a reason to fight them? Money for money. their heads, but... You want their money? money? Let's take their money. It's... it's Let's take their money heads. They're just doing their thing. Are they dangerous to the environment? God damn it, Travis. Were you not listening? Yeah. Oh, did you say that? I read a whole thing where I literally explained how they are dangerous it was long, to the though. environment, and there's a reward for their... Heads. Oh, that was exactly what you said. Okay. Yes. It was two All sentences. Right. It wasn't a lot. It was two sentences. I guess I tuned that part out. I don't care about the environment, but I would uh, to get the money. Yeah, fuck it. Let's murder then... these bitches. We're murdering. What does Daphne think? <laughs> murder. She doesn't like guess. monsters, murder. though. What? <laughs> well, they just killed a whale, though, Teresa. Yeah. That's just They're nature. Criminals. Ooh, is this just nature, though? Yeah. Just what nature. about the monsters you hunt in your forest? Is that, isn't that just nature? No. That's no? an abomination. These are abominations. Those are unnatural. No, they're not. They're dinosaurs. Joe, I'm trying to trick her. You're the DM. <laughs> Stay out of this. <laughs> oh, wait. Which one of them didn't make? Delicious. And we could get some delicious dinosaur meat. Wasn't right. 
I have like a hundred pounds of that. Good. So. Yeah. You know what? I haven't decided how tasty they are. I'll have to do that. Cool. Yeah, only a hundred pounds. If we just should stock back up, just make make that into jerky, and then we have dinosaur um, jerky. Everybody, put yourselves on the ship where you think you should be on the ship. What is my role for the ship? Am I like a rope man or something? You I'll be by the know. ropes. Am I a rope man? And Silas will be next to me. Am I a ropesman? I'm the ropesman of this ship. I wonder if I would blow deck. Uh, would you blow? I blow deck. Blow dick. You blow dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no. We're saying the ship goes on uh, Paragon's turn. He's, he's the captain. We roll an initiative. He yes. wants to wait. Okay. I did it. Wally is going to stay the fuck out the way. Alright, who is manning the ballista? Are you letting Oliver do it? Yes. Yeah. Wait, what's this thing called down here? What do you mean? The thing I'm um, standing next to. Miganel, I think. Miganel. Miganel. <laughs> You're gonna shoot that thing, aren't you? What? Oh. Me? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 yes. <laughs> no, I want to be shot from it, thank you very much. Ooh, oh yes, do it, do it, do it. Can I do oh. it? Oh my god. If she does that, I'm gonna find a way to give her multiple inspirations. That's the fucking coolest thing. You might die, but still. Very Would cool. be so fun. Would you look at that? It's me. I want to shoot it. Oh. All right. I'll shoot this one. Okay, roll a uh, d20 again. Do, do, do. Still not proficient. <laughs> <laughs> She accidentally steps on it and flings herself. <laughs> I mean, on a natural one, maybe. Uh, their AC... No, you miss. I don't have to do the math to know that you miss. <laughs> okay. Rodan. I'm, I'm gonna... I'll do steady aim. I can't believe it just happened again. <sighs> I just really want to shoot something. Yeah? No, oh, that would have been really cool. No, you only got 95 more manganel balls, so don't use all your ammo. Mango balls? Mango balls. Quick, get my mango she's, balls. She's literally just launching mangoes. <laughs> they hate mangoes. Mangoes. You should use coconuts. This is our coconel. <laughs> <laughs> can I do to hurt this thing? Use your gun. Sure. Uh, what? Yeah, right. What's the range of the gun? 6240. What are they? They are... 79. If only you could fly. Wait a minute. Let's get closer. How far did I move? You can't do they gotta be up in the air. There it is. Alright, shoot the nearest one. Flying on there. I, I, I put 10 plus 10 feet. 
there. How does a gun work? Let's see. Um, I mean, if you're just shooting, then I believe... No, no, no. I want to use all my magic. Okay. What am I going to do? Stop it. I'm flipping this tree to expense to level zero, additional damage, 2d8 radiant, or force. You can, yeah, you can expend a spell slot to deal with additional damage. Damage is 2d8 radiant or force for a first level spell slot, and 1d8 for every level above first. So, you did that first damage, no matter what. Uh, the second roll doesn't help. That was an accident. Yeah, so you did, you did, I'm going to take the 10 damage. And then you're using a spell slot. Fifth level. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's sixty-eight. Four. Five, six, eight. Uh. All right. So Twenty-nine damage. Ooh. That's a total of 40 damage that you did. Just like that, he's badly injured. Oh, gun. Alright. Uh, Ballista. shooting at the one on the right. 14 damage to that one. Alright. Plesiosaurus. God, he can't do anything. He can be a big as he. He's only large. What spells does he have? Mm, none. Alright. They're gonna have a sweet dinosaur. This is a battle of some kind. Cast meteor. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't want to get teleported. He really just moved 30 feet straight. Um, so for him, it's going to make sense to just Sacred Flame this dude. Okay, nice, he got him. Damage, yeah. I hate fighting, by the way! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Teresa, kill him. Jump in the oh, water. Shit. Jump in the rowboat. Um, no, I don't no. really want to do that. What uh, do you want to do? I want to stay this distance away. This distance? The middle of the ship? Yeah, why not? I don't know. He's kind of scaredy cat-like, but... Yeah, you, you, so if you're staying there, you cannot see this one because the ship is above the water and he is not. Um, That's why Wally had to get closer. Uh, I mean, with your longbow's got ridiculous range. Though. Up on yeah, the, but how far no. is that? Wait, hold on. Uh, the, this one over here is 98 feet. This one's this one's even. I could do this That's guy. That's a dead whale. Oh. <laughs> um, right, I'll do you, this guys, guy. you don't have to use the measurement like that either, guys. If you select your token and you hold down Alt, it tells you how far away everything is. Okay, I'm going for this guy. Okay. Hit. Hit. You did it. Yeah. Plunk, plunk. Okay, now he else is gonna jump in. Alright. Here we go. Probably not, but. Wait, why can't. Here we go. Why, why can't I. What did I do? You're on the wrong layer, probably. 
How do I get onto the right layer? Go to the like I don't. I just press the person. What about the top left of your screen? Oh, I I skipped my turn. Okay, he didn't want to do anything. I guess. Lame, okay. But okay, explain it to me again, but slower. Top left of your screen, a little picture shaped like a person? Yeah. Is that orange? Yes. Okay, then move your character. I, it's I can, but it's not showing me distance. And that's what's confusing me. Oh, I don't know why that's happening to you. It's working for everybody else. Um... Huh. You might have to refresh the game or something. Okay. If your token says selected right, Chris pointed out before, it doesn't work. How do I make it so my token is selected right? Yeah. I went back and like clicked on my token and made sure the token controls were on the top left there. Well, yeah, that's what I yeah I did. That was the first thing I did. <laughs> I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I'm refreshing, but it's taking forever to load. Okay, I'm back. Travis would know how to do it. I'm still doing it. Um... Weird. Even for Silas, it's doing it. Hmm. For me, when I move them. <clears throat> Why else may it be doing this? It was working earlier? Yeah. I don't know. Or I guess I don't know for sure. I didn't really need to bother with it because I wasn't that far away last time, but I stood in the same spot. Well, can you just move me as far as I can go toward the plesiosaur down here? Sure. 30 feet. Be right on top of Daphne. Uh, that, that's 20 feet. Okay. Just move here. Yeah. Um, can I see that one there? Damn it! I fucking hit the thing again. Um, I'm, boy. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say it would have half cover, so it gets plus two to its AC. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna bonus action to uh, ignite my hammer, and then I'm gonna use my action to uh, dash. Okay. And I'll stop there. Uh, Silas has 50 feet, but I can't see his movement either. Can you move me as close as you can to it? And he can swim really well now, so. You well, can breathe fine. air and water. You want him in the water? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's 50. Okay, now he's got 40 feet movement speed while in the water. Uh, but he will attack. Uh, the second one misses. Okay. And that should do it. It's the fucking big ass ocean wolf attacking a plesiosaurus. Yeah. So Yarrow's turn. Yarrow. Uh, I will move here a bit. I'm gonna psychic lance this one, the top one down there. Okay. Okay. What an idiot that dinosaur is. Incapacitated. He's incapacitated. Yeah. Okay. Um. Four feet. How close do I gotta be to inspire him? Sixty. Yeah, I'll do that. Um. 
all uh, bardically inspire stylus and say, uh, "You can, you can eat that dinosaur, not his head, though." <laughs> and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Well, that's why the measurement's off. It's using walking speed. I was like, what the fuck? Their speed is 40, so when they dash, they can move 80. This one's incapacitated until when? Um, I think he can make the start of, his, of my next turn. Okay. It says he can't take actions or reactions. When you can't take actions, it means you can't move or take bonus actions. So, he can't do shit. Um, Farragon doesn't have any ranged attacks. And, uh, both the... Oh, wait. Are there any spells that might help? No. Okay, he's not going to do shit. You guys could give him a ranged weapon if you wanted, though. Mm. I am once again going to shoot this thing. Okay. Um... I'll I'll shoot this one that's farther away. Which one? Uh, let me see something here. Arrogant. You can't, you can't shoot something that is less than sixty feet away, and he is fifty-eight feet away. Okay, okay. Then I Maybe will. It has to have a. It has a. It has a short distance because it shoots it at, at an arc. I see. I'll shoot the pessimistic okay. guy then. Okay, go ahead and just roll a d Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so that's so disappoint Oh yeah. There we go. Hold on, where is it? You inspire? How was I not Disappointed Yeah, 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 that's it. Alright. Okay. Baruch's up. It's near death, unharmed, unharmed. Boop. Let's uh, attack him normally here. Flick some wounds. Boom, boom. Like that. Well, yeah. I've got it. It's flick wound. No more description than that. Alright, so I'm gonna make it visible. It's dead and it's starting to sink. Oh shit. Uh you do anything else? I'm gonna well, can I levitate it? Let's see. You just used an inflict wound, so probably not. I, probably not. Um you know, Silas. Grab, grab the thing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we need that. <laughs> you don't understand me. You're a stupid. You're a dog. Fish. Mm -hmm. You're a dog mm. fish. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, I will. Uh, I will grapple the thing. With what? My hands. You <sighs> used your action to inflict wounds. Is it like a free action or a no. interaction? No. Nope. 
<laughs> I'd like to use an interaction. Extra action. I'd like to use my bonus action to lift a dinosaur out of the ocean. <laughs> How heavy is it? Oh, seems reasonable. Can I go back to my uh, nature roll from earlier? All right, I will. Uh, I'll wait on it. I'll no, at least we'll approximate weight of these turn. things. A little less than a thousand pounds. Perfect. It just eat that whale, though. Maybe heavy. Oh yeah. It is. Probably way less. I really wanted it for the money. Him. Are you just thinking about eating it? <laughs> He's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I assumed your whatever you're thinking of has to be a thousand pounds. So I was just commenting about it. That's all. Mm. Let me see if Wally can do anything. Nope. Okay, he's going to take a shot at the closer one. Natural one. Womp womp. Alright. You see this guy? I do, I see him. Oh, I can? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna... Throw your lightsaber at him. Use the thingy. The acid arrow. Under your spells? Uh, no. No way to use the acid arrow. What? There's no way to use the acid arrow. Oh, it was under your spells. The charges are gone from the the weapon. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. I just noticed it though. Um, how many charges are you supposed to have? Who? Is that what you want to use? Yeah, I was going to use it. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Okay. So that hits... Which one are you shooting? The, this one? This guy. Okay. Um, so he takes 13, and then he takes more later... Take 2d4 at the end of his next turn. Okay. That's one Alright, then I'm just I'm just gonna hit him with a regular. Okay. Then he takes another eight damage. Uh why don't you roll the two d4 and I'll just apply it now rather than risk forgetting. Okay. 
Oh, wait. I just clicked the wrong thing. Plus one. I don't think so. I did that on accident. Alright. I, I meant to if I tried to delete it, it wouldn't delete. Okay. Alright, I didn't attach it to the weapon because I'm tired of dealing with that. I just put it on your character sheet. That's I okay. I'll I don't think we'll forget. Yeah. So it's just under your spells now, whenever you want to use it. And it does have the two uses. Okay. You can see it in the list there if you, if you look. Mm -hmm. I can go? Yeah. Can I use minor telekinesis to drag the body under the ship? Sure. I can move it 30 move feet. It. Okay. Uh, yeah. Flip bomb. I wink at Baruch. Ah, I shake my fist. <laughs> shake your fist. Um, okay. And... I will, so that's my action. I will move over here. Be careful, Baruch might eat it. He is um, a bird. And he I does don't... have an infinite stomach, so... I don't think I have a... Wait, how far away from uh, this Plesiosaur am I? 25 feet. I want to use Channel Divinity Champion Challenge. Okay. Oh. Uh. On this one. Okay. It compels them to do battle with me. So wisdom saving throw. If they fail, they can't move oh, away. Each creature within 30 feet. I think that's the only one within 30 feet, okay. right? Let's bounce close to it. Okay, we've yeah, got 45. a... We've got to add a roll to that. He failed. But he is aggroed now. Alright. Uh, Silas will move up. And attack him. That's for you, Travis, what I just posted. Oh, okay. Uh, 14 is a hit. And 19, of course, is a hit. It's still alive. It'd be funny if right after you did that, you killed it. Right. Let's see. Use token ruler. Is that champion challenge? Wait, what? You asking me? And that's a channel divinity. Okay. So yeah. When you use it. Uses channel divinity. Did it use it when you used it? Did it reduce that to zero? Uh, good question. I've been trying to fix my ruler thing. Um, should have. Uh, I still have a channel divinity selected for sure, available okay. for some reason. All right. I th I think I just fixed that. And then it's supposed to be what kind of saving throw? Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, cl click it again. All right. Did it? Nice. Use it? Yep. Yep. Perfect. And it's got the saving throw, so I reprogram. I'm getting good. I'm getting good at this thing that I've been doing for two yeah. years. Well done. Holy shit! All right. End your turn, so Ryan can play music. Psychic Lance. This one. Alright, I'll look at this one. Yeah. So that, that was the issue. It wasn't selected for there some you reason. Go. You undid it for some reason. What an idiot. I must have somehow clicked it when I was checking out the other thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I clicked I, that. 
Silas used his bardic inspiration or just not on this character? Silas had bardic inspiration? Yeah. Oh, I didn't remember him having it. If he still got it, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll put it on him. Cause... Did you give it to him? And last turn. Yeah, he oh. said that stupid thing. Yeah. I told him. I told him. To... No, you didn't. I you didn't did miss. miss. Oh, I, the silver oh, claws didn't miss. Both hit. It's AC. Oh, okay. Working. Okay. I guess I could use it for the damage. Can I use it for um, the damage? Yes, you can. D10. Oh, Damn. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to bardically inspire him again and, and say, Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> uh, and that's the end of my turn. If Silas kills the Plesiosaurus with a crit, I will say he rips his head off. Ooh. Ooh. But Smishy, do you want a cookie? No, thank you. I want a cookie! Oh, eat that Damn. sausage, bitch! Oh, shit. Ow. How what? No, I said ow. Yeah. Ow. Kill your dog, fish. Alright, since uh, Yarrow had his turn, this one comes back and immediately begins swimming under the water. Um, Baragon, take your turn. This one's incapacitated. Glassy McBreaker is up. Oh, that's me! Swan dive into the water. <laughs> Launch yourself directly into the mouth of Silas. <clears throat> I'm going to shoot the one next to Silas with okay. my bow. Is it? No. Okay. Is it not rolling? Ah. Oh. Uh, 25 for 14 damage. It's dead. Pew pew. I'm shooting. Shank here. Sh oh. Leave it there. I'm gonna grapple the dead one. Uh, hold on. Did anybody head <laughs> off? While it was alive. No. Alrighty. So there's one left, and you say it went underwater? There's one right here. Another one swam underwater, and this one died, and it's starting to sink. Cool spells, cool spells. Um. You guys like that I left the ocean stuff on during the combat music? Yeah. Yes. I like the seabirds. Yeah, I figured seagulls made more sense to use just from an enjoyment standpoint than fish sounds. Fish sounds, that's how I really sleep really nothing above water. <laughs> fish sounds. <laughs> uh, outcast rabbit, confusion. Rabbit screams. Confusion. Okay. I'm gonna confuse this dinosaur. Okay, he's confused. Oh, 
Okay. He rolled in the start of his turn. I did it. End the turn. Six hit points. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. I can still use Sacred Flame. That was a bonus action. Okay. Daphne. Daphne. Um. I mean, I guess this guy. Which one? This is dead, right? That one's dead. Yeah, that yeah. one's dead. Oh yeah. We'll go. Uh. Yeah, that's dead. Okay, this guy then. That's all that's left. Besides the one underwater. Well, you can see that guy. True. Okay, that one's dead. Um, did I see where he went underwater? Mm -hmm. Way over there. Do about it. Unless I threw a bomb. I'd have to throw it pretty far, though. Watch me throw this bomb over them mountains. Who do you guys think? You might be running away. Yeah, I think I'll save my bomb. Alright. I'll move here and then telekinesis this one onto the ship next to me. And Silas will go for the last one, one above water. Okay, what's he trying to do to it? Um, kind of want to test out one of his new features. Is it lift dead plesiosaurus? Oh, I guess it, yeah, feature? I guess he is dead. Uh, can I try to bite his head off? Sure, make an attack at advantage. Do it advantage, but nope, does not bite his head off. Okay. Um, as inspiration, I think. I think he probably needs a crit, right? He needs a crit. Um, <clears throat> can I have him drag it? Is he strong enough for that? Um, yeah, in the water, yeah. Half speed. Okay, twenty feet. But how far did he already move? Oh, good point. I don't remember. Was I next to Baruch? Move 25, so I got 15 more feet, 10 feet, or 5 yeah, feet? Yeah, you can move 10, that's fine. 10? Okay. Okay. Well, now that you've grabbed those one, the other one doesn't come back, so this is over. You got three of them. Okay. Hooray. Um, you guys remove the heads. Yay. And I will slaughter up the the corpses and see how much meat I can fit into my freezer. Alright, uh, make three survival checks. Um, 
Do you want me to just put the heads into the party inventory? Sure. Yeah. Um, loot. Lasiosaurus heads. Worth 250 each. What do you think it weighs? Like 25 pounds? The head? At least. At least, yeah. Maybe more. 40? Probably more. Yeah. How much does a Plesiosaurus head weigh? <laughs> Oh, wow, you rolled real fucking bad, dude. Sure did. Um, well, there's a lot of meat, though. Um, so I'll say you still get 100 pounds. Sweet. You, like, somehow fuck up real bad. You, like, accidentally poison the second one. Damn. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, like, it got, it got slippery with the blood, and he, like, knocked the body off the ship. Off the <laughs> ship, right. <laughs> And then, like, it hits the water, and then the body explodes for some reason. Whoops. Silas <laughs> was eating half of one. <laughs> he didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> While you were doing the first one, Silas ate the, the second one. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you can long rest again. The only one of the NPCs who needs it is Wally. Wow, a lot more heavier than I thought. The head. I wonder what else they can tell me how much it weighs. How much do the balls of a plus? <laughs> the balls. Balls way. Yeah, that's disappointing. Uh, I th I feel awfully good about myself after that. We killed those environmentally damaging dinosaurs. God, we'll get some money out of it. What a what a treat! Pretty good. Anybody want a plesiosaurus steak? I like fish. Yeah. You you making it right now? Sure. Do it up. How do you cook them? I guess there's a galley on the ship. Yeah, there's a galley. Hmm. Goddamn son of a bitch. Yeah. What does plesiosaurus taste like? Okay, there's no way anyone knows that. That's what it said. It said there's no way anyone would know that? Yes. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. That's really where the dinosaur cloning money would be making food out of them. Yeah. Of course. But at that point, why aren't you just making gigantic cows? Mm. We have the technology. What if the dinosaurs taste better? I doubt it. Yeah, probably not. Some people would just buy it just to say they did, though. Yeah, but that doesn't fund the genetic engineering required to make dinosaurs. All right. right. Well, I mean, they could also make giant cows. It's nine fifty. Let me do this. Okay, sorry. Um. Okay. Uh. So here we are. Summer forty second. You are to meet Gaia Linus in the capital of Hit of Hitalo Island, in the city of Polydraken, which sits at the very center of the island. Approaching the island, you are initially confused about where to dock. The entire edge of the island is a sheer cliff, one hundred feet high. You spot a very large, you know, you spot very large person-sized crystals poking out from the cliff 
in various places. As usual, Farragon knows right where to go. There is a small inlet on the east side of the island, and as your ship turns and enters the inlet, it becomes apparent that the entire inlet, including the depth below you and the sloping ground past the dock, were carved out so that ships could dock. On arrival, you note that every worker on the dock is a grung, and there is no sign of the other students. Grung are small frog people, and they are one of the two main races on Delvin. Um, the other main race is, of course, Crystal Dragonborn. Um, disembarking, you are in, uh, approached by a finely dressed, medium-sized grung. Surprisingly, he is six feet tall and towers above the other grung, though he is quite thin. Um, and I think that's where I'm going to end it, because I don't want to get into anything more. Maybe I'll read that again at the beginning if I have time. So you have arrived. Book first. Or it appears so. What? I said we're first, or it appears so anyway. Well, you yeah. can see the other students. Oh, true. Um, let's do this too. Let's um. And their ships aren't around. You don't see them. Okay. That is the island. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Make it so that you guys can go there when you want. Let's see. Player regions hit power. Where's the forest? The forest? You're making your windmill? Yeah. <laughs> I think they would have gotten their lake names consistent. The old lake and new lake, or dark lake and light lake. Hidden lake. Where's that? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's hidden. So that's. Um, but we'll get into it next time. All right, we've got to vote because the inspiration got used. Can't vote for Travis. Um, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. Go with Baruch. Who's inflicting a lot of wounds? Irene for her spirited attempts to use the ballista. <laughs> uh, Yoro for inspiring people. Baruch. We're just missing I'm one doing... rabbit vote. I know, sorry, I thought I was muted. I'm doing Cyrene. Hi. What's the rule? Does Chris have to redo his vote? Cyrene or me? Yeah, this is making sense. Hmm. Uh, yeah. What happened last time? Yeah, but it wasn't. Oh, yeah, I guess it is the same. Here is Irene. I don't want it. Too much responsibility. I will take it. Okay. All right, guys. So next week, we're good? Uh, I'm not good next week. Not on Wednesday. I'm not good either. I can do any other day. Go at Knoxville. I'm so good next Wednesday that because of that, both of you are good. The other thing is, I'm actually never good. 
They'll be in the sun sphere. So, what does that leave us with? Not next week. Oh, okay. How long are you in Knoxville? Oh, okay. Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so we take that's a week like, off. It's like the whole week. It's like, <laughs> like a whole week. week. <laughs> whole week. <laughs> wow, Trav, you good job. Good Thank job, you. Travis. Okay, so we'll take a week it's off nice. and then we'll play the week after. Oh, happy birthday tomorrow, Chris. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy Chris Poor birthday. Eve. Hey. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh well. I'll tell everyone. Okay. Bye everybody. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye guys.